a few things. First of all, today we are playing Tales from Monkey Island. I would like to express a gigantic thank you and gesture of appreciation to Prime Gaming for sponsoring the first two hours of the stream. When they approached me with this sponsorship opportunity, I said, okay, so you want me to promote something that we already highly encourage people to do, the Prime Gaming and everything, and promote to them that they can get free games through it. I said, I will do that. Especially when I learned that Tales from Monkey Island is one of the games I could play. So, uh, before, we, before we officially begin, just to let you know, if you go over to gaming.amazon.com slash home, you can log in here, and then you can click this little games icon, and that will take you to all the games you can download for free, like Frostpunk, Journey to the Savage Planet, Bowcaster University, Stubbs, and Tales from Monkey Island. These games go all over the place, and keep in mind, I say these are free games, but these are free games if you are a subscriber to the Amazon Prime service, to Prime Gaming. So I should probably not say free games. These are included games in your Prime Gaming subscription. So go get your free games. They go, they change around relatively frequently. And also, of course, you've got a bunch of in-game stuff if you want to get that too for other games that you may enjoy and play. So there you go. Second of all, before we begin here, um, I have to admit that when, you know, I've, I've been doing this for eight years and I've been doing pretty much this thing every day for eight years. And because of that, I basically feel like it's a snowball that's constantly rolling downhill. And if you've ever heard the expression like stop and smell the roses, it's kind of wild because in, in the eight years I've been doing this, <clears throat> I don't do it that often because I never stop. <laughs> so you can't really stop and smell the roses if you never stop. That being said, this, this particular opportunity was one of those times when, when I said yes to it, when I realized I was doing it, it was one of those moments where I just kind of had to stop myself and be like, this is incredible. The original Monkey Island was one of the first games I really played with my dad. And I remember vividly, like, working through Monkey Island with him. This is back in the, like, on our Macs with LucasArts. And it was one of those situations. That was when I started to really, like, fundamentally start appreciate games for what they were. So, it's pretty incredible to me to be here, like, decades later, being sponsored to play a future iteration of Monkey Island as my job. And it's one of those things where when I was thinking about it this morning, it made me just so much appreciate not only that situation, but also the fact that you guys have basically gotten me here. I mean, obviously I wouldn't have these opportunities without people showing up every day and watching this. So it was, it was one of those, those moments when I stopped and smelled the flowers and I was just like, this is awesome. Thank you so much for this. <laughs> this is, this is, it's just, it's such an incredibly cool position that the kid me would be absolutely a flailing his arms around running like the inflatable Tumar guy, just excited to, to know that like, this is where we would be in the future. So I really appreciate it. Thank you for it. And go get your free games. <laughs> and that's about it. So without further delay, let's go ahead and get started. Um, to to uh, let people know what the situation is. This is the Tales from Monkey Island game. I have not finished this series. I have played, I think, up through episode three. And at the time when I was playing it, I think another big game came out I was looking forward to, and I just left and never really came back to it. So I have not finished this series of Monkey Island. So I'm kind of excited to return to it. It's been a very, I don't know if I've ever streamed it, and it's been a hugely long time since I played it. So yeah, pretty awesome. And I'm, I'm pretty excited to dive back in. Look behind you a three-headed monkey. I know, I know. Uh, Scott, yes, I am still a partner. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, is it can say setting? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh, do that. Quality nine. Is it the max? The quality. The quality max is nine. Okay. Weird. I set it to fourteen forty, and the game said no, no, no. 
<laughs> so let's try reloading that. Yes. 10 was too much to handle. Oh man. 64040 for the true experience. Nice. Nice. Windowed mode unlocks FPS. Okay, cool. We'll take a look at that. Sylvie TV, good suggestion, but they are they are off doing other things right now, yeah. Take full screen off. Aha, there we go. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Alright, so wait, if I if I if I go back here and then I do this. Nice. Okay. So uh is this can I use a controller with this game? Do I want to use a controller with this game? Probably not. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. Up text subtitles on. Um, uh, okay. Yeah. New game. I am ready. Who can't believe this? <laughs> oh lord, I just like whipped that across my screen. Uh oh. OG, thank you for the five gift bomb, buddy. Oh, also, while we're talking about things coming up, uh, this Wednesday, the morning stream, we're going to do a charity stream for world builders. We're going to be reeling in with their after party and getting them some extra money. I think our goal is going to be, like, pretty high at, like, 50K. So we'll have to see what we can do. I still owe you guys a lot of charity rewards, so we're going to need to figure out what we can do. Um, and, uh, yeah. It'll be fun. We'll be playing Wasteland 3, too. My victory is at hand. Behold, the legendary 13th monkey of Monkey Vitello, whose sacrifice will eternally bind the oceans themselves to my infernal will. Arr, arr. Depressed yet? Half as much as I'll be when Guybrush guts your diseased carcass with his booby cutlass, you doddering sack of scum. I wouldn't hold your breath waiting for any last-minute heroics, my dear. The last I saw of your mighty pirate husband, he was being torn apart by a school of my ravenous piranha poodles. All right, LeChuck, put down the monkey and back away from my wife. My fish! Arr, three foot. You've led me a merry chase, but soon the dread mysteries of these ancient simians will be. And the seas will run red with the blood of my enemy. Har, har, har. Oh. Yeah, well, you fight like a... No time to waste, Skybrush. Uh, Finish uh, enchanting that sword back. before LeChuck completes his spell. I'm on it. One LeChuck defeating cursed Cutlass of Kaflu coming up. Now, where did I leave those handy voodoo instructions? They're pinned to your mast. Oh, yeah. Come to Guybrush, you spooky voodoo recipe, you. Well, I had to sail six of the seven major seas to find the ingredients, but I finally finished the cut. Almost. Now all I need to do is find some fizzy root beer to spray on it, and let Chuck's as good as toast. Icky disease toast. If you get enchanted root beer, root beer must be fizzy, and then spray cutlass with enchanted root beer. It serves much. I have a breath mint, a cutlass, and a voodoo recipe. And escape is not closed. My inventory. I can use the control. Let's try that. You can do it, sweetie. I can. I talk to him. I go down. Can't go down. You'll okay. be sorry when my sweet oh, Wait, how do I click on the door? On you, oh wow, maybe I do have to use that. Okay, because I uh, with the controller I can't actually click on the door. Nope. Nothing in there but a decade's worth of fantastic pirate booty. I wonder if there's anything useful down there. Nope. Nothing but a bunch of lazy criminals. I can't believe I spent so much time recruiting those guys. Bruh, your wife? I'm working Cease on it! your infernal struggling, or I'll cut you from gob to gizzard! <laughs> you 
Elaine, my beautiful butter. What? I said, Elaine, my beautiful butter. My beautiful butter? I was gonna say buttercup, but you keep cutting me off. Oh, guy brush. Now stop the chocolate, we're all dead. What's going on here? The chuck hijacked my ship and sailed to the Rock of Jalapa to finish his terrifying voodoo ritual. It's a good thing we've got the Cutlass of Kaflu on our side, or we'd be done for. Hey, Shavala. The recipe says I'm supposed to soak the Cutlass in magical root beer, but I can't find any. Have you looked in that creepy monkey coffin? Right, because everyone keeps their magic root beer in a tiny monkey coffin. Are you okay? I'm fine. Finish the recipe. Okay, I have to find a oh, creepy... Creepy monkey coffin? Who the hell is a creepy monkey coffin? Have you looked in that creep? Nope. Nothing in there but a decade's worth of fantastic. Cat thought? Oh god, cat, where did you Cat, where did you put it? Right. Have you looked in that creepy monkey coffin? Oh, this monkey coffin. Ah, the legendary monkey casket of Kauai. I'll never forget the horrible hula of Hades I had to do to get this thing. The hula Is of this Hades. thing sloshing? What words you don't want to hear when you pick up a coffin. <laughs> I wonder how you open this thing. Ha! A seltzer bottle full of root beer. I haven't seen one of these since before I had a beard. Bet this stuff will work wonders on my cutlass. Alright, time to give this cutlass a root beer shower. Flat root beer? What kind of second-rate voodoo seltzer bottle has flat root beer? Putting mint in the root beer. Whoa, this city. your frosty carbonated maker, LeChuck. Come and get me a dirt digging doily dipper! Arr. Stop showboating and spray the sword, Guybrush! I'm not showboating, I'm... Arr. Arr. Whoa. Oops. And now we're going to die. Again. Oh, wonderful. Okay, no problem. I just need to find a fresh supply of impossible to find voodoo root beer. I sure hope there's some on a lane ship, because mine is dry as a bone. And not one of those wet bones. I'm talking a dry, dry bone. Elaine! What? Elaine, you've got inordinately strong thighs. See if you can swing me that rope. It's not long enough, but I've got a better idea. Sure! <laughs> How'd you do that? You don't spend several years at the side of Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate, without picking up a few tricks, darling. My ship! My booty! My collection of autographed sextants! We'll buy you some more sextants later, just stop the chuck! Ah, Threepwood! So good of you to join us! Saves me the trouble of having to sink your ship. Nothing! It's Elaine's barrel of light grog. It's like real grog, only without the taste, calories, or debilitating blackouts. Nothing can stop me now! Hmm, <laughs> a wet cutlass. Just what I've always wanted. Sleep when I'm dead. More later tonight. <laughs> Whatever comes first. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> well, I guess this is happening. Unga. Ow. <laughs> Oh, any ideas? <laughs> Elaine! Guybrush? Now that we're reunited, what should we do? 
First, you should look for a way to replace that roof here you dropped. Sorry it took so long to catch up with you, but I've been busy digging up arcane voodoo items. Did you miss me? Fuck it. Now put this pirate out of our misery. What's LeChuck doing with all these monkeys anyway? I think it's some sort of blood sacrifice in exchange for the secret language of Plankton. Or maybe he just really hates monkeys? It's all been a little vague. That's strange. LeChuck's soul-chilling schemes are usually so well-planned. <laughs> Busy low-count grog. I bet I can make a fortune selling this to... well, no one. Mmm, a wet cutlass. Just what I've always wanted. I wondered where all my gunpowder went after the mother-in-law incident. Uh, I mean, we can try it with this, but I have a feeling we're going to get blasted again. You fight like a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, there's Gary a root Farmer. on the other side of the ship. No, I don't think that's worth until you finish enchanting the yep. cutlass, love. I was kind of hoping you wouldn't say that. Shut Those roots could really plant. use a trim. Let's see if we can cut back some of those unruly roots. There, much neater. Anything else on this side? Then we're good. Now that's some fizzy root grub. I bet it still tastes like monkey snot, though. Okay, you barrel of disgusting low-cal goo. Make yourself useful. Booyah! Look out, LeChuck! Here comes Guybrush Threepwood's glowing sword of hot monkey vengeance! Yes! LeChuck! Do you mind? I'd be in the middle of an unholy ceremony here. Unholy this! Unholy this? Yeah, I know, but he didn't give me much to work with. Hey! Arr, arr. You can't defeat me that easily, sheep. Wait, what's happening? Is that how the cutlass is supposed to work? I don't know, it's so bright. What the heck? Woof. I, uh, I'm human. That's debatable. Guybrush, quick! Finish him off! What? Oh, right! This is for the monkeys, LeChuck! What are you doing? Finish him! It's not me, it's my hand! It won't... Uh-oh. Elaine! Guybrush? Yes, based on a true story. Yeah. Po Jam, dude. Po Jam and the Bongos. I know, right? This game is great. I hope it's not a pirated copy, though. Kiwi said, is this a remake of Monkey Island? I may need to play this. Two things. First of all, this isn't a remake. This is actually the, I, who was, was this Telltales? Who, who actually made the Secrets of Monkey Island? Um, let me see here. This is made by, yeah, Telltale. So this is Telltale's take on Monkey Island. 
And it's basically, it's a five episode adventure that like each episode has its own like mini story thing. Uh, so it is not a remake of the originals. There are remakes of the originals though, with like new graphics and stuff. And we got to play those at some point. Um, quick heads up though, don't buy this. Because here's the thing. The reason we're playing this today is because I'm doing a sponsored thing with Prime Gaming, and this is free on Prime Gaming. So if you are a Prime person, you already have this for free. Yeah. Don't worry. We'll have you up and sucking back a grog and... No, I don't. My beautiful pirate don't. I'll get you for this, you craven build rat. Sorry. I don't know what got into me. Oh, this can't be good. You know, you really should have that look, that kid. Huh? The name's Nippercat. Davy Nippercat. Senior reporter, Keel Hollow Gazette. Welcome to Flotsam Island. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Actually, I... Great. What's your name, where'd you come from, and how'd you get here? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, PM. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, and... Pirate, eh? Well, I'll believe it when I see it, kid. Still, it'd be nice to have a real genuine pirate buckling his swash around Flotsam Island again. Um, Why, I haven't had an honest-to-goodness pirate story to write about in over six months. Yes, right. sorry, Bob. Nothing like the promise of a good pirate story to get the old journalistic juices flowing again, says hey. I. Say, just listen to me prattling on while you stand there all wet and confused and whatnot. So, what's your story, Creepwood? Okay, that's rude. Second of all, Dark Wolfie with a T2, seven years of support. Seven years of awesome. Enjoy the fun with you and the community. Also, chat, you're looking pretty cute today. Well, good to see you, Dark Wolfie. Thank you for your seven years of support. I really appreciate that, dude. That's kind of awesome. Thank you. Uh, also, what's up, LZT? I have a sub, sir. How are you doing today? Stop slapping. I will not stop slapping. I'm going to smack you all day. You're going to like it. Bam! All right. I need a ship so I can get back to a lane. This island looks... Uh lovely but where can i find a ship i really need to get back to the rock of gelato and find my wife well there's only one ship here on flotsam island but it won't do you any good why not it's the winds three wand the winds <laughs> here on flotsam island the winds are always blowing inward 24 hours a day 365 days a year it's a freak of nature a fluke a curse whatever you want to call it the result is the same once you've landed on flotsam island you're trapped! Are you seriously telling me there's no way off this island? Well, not by ship, anyway. The only person who I think might know a way off the island is Deep Gut. <laughs> deep Gut? What's a Deep Gut? <laughs> deep Gut's my secret <laughs> source. So I had three options and they all just said stories. the same thing? And okay, it's a good. good thing, too. Without the Gut's uncanny inter-island scoops, Keel Hall of Gazette would never be able to compete with those snowy prima donnas over at the Flotsam Times. Off-island news? Hey, then he might know something about Elaine. Where can I find this deep gut? Hold on a second, pirate boy. Davy J. Nippikin doesn't go handing over his secret sources to every Tom, Dick, and Guy brush that washes ashore. But I can pay you, with treasure, from my ship. Which is probably at the bottom of the ocean by now. Look, kid, you seem like a nice enough pirate, so I'll make you a deal. A deal? I won't have to dress up like a sheep, will I? Great, I love making deals with complete strangers. Okay, but no blood signatures. A deal? Yeah, off island news is nice and all, but the fair citizens of Flotsam are getting tired of stories about faraway lands they'll never see again. Not to mention that I hate being beholden to this deep gut person. So? So I need some nice, meaty local pirate news. I love making pirate news. That's the spirit, kid. You can translate that moxie into news-making pirate mayhem, and I'll hand you deep gut on a silver platter. Yeah, this'll be a snap. Uh-oh. A snap. A snap. Ow! First of all, Braljo, the 72 months, six years. Where's the time gone? Keep on keeping on, Co. Co wow, Co L, Co Pog. Braljo, my dude, thank you so much. Thank you. We also have a 20 gift bomb from our friend Cabalish and a five gift bomb 
from Bubble Canon, back-to-back bombs, my dudes. Thank you. Some bongos to you. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Has this hand always been zombie style? I'm new to the series. No, 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 it just happened. It, it actually just happened. Yeah. Well, that's not gonna work. Useless robo. Well, that's not gonna work. Nice. Bro show with the 10 sub bomb behind his seven year sub. Bro show. Thank you very much, buddy. Super kind of you, my friend. Thank you for all your support. Attention. Club 41, Flotsam Island's most prestigious pirate organization, is no longer accepting new applications for membership. Thank you for your continued interest and please go away. Dark Wolfie with the 10 bomb as well. Thank you, Dark Wolfie. Thank you, thank you. That. Printer's Ink, the lifeblood of the newspaper industry, lovingly harvested from squid udders. Wind still sucks. Blotsam Island endures 1,138 straight day of unwelcome winds. Wow. It's locked. No one allowed in there but keel hauler employees, Leapwood. You're thinking of becoming a reporter? Oh, heck no. <laughs> What's in our inventory right now? Nothing. Jail carvings. Whoever built this jail really wanted to put the burr in brig. Those eye carvings are creepy. From the jails, the flag, and the general air of perverted justice, I can only guess that this must be the Flotsam Island Courthouse. <laughs> Too real, man. Real. Thank you, Surfin. Claiming some chat love. Appreciate that, buddy. Oh, well, to you, my friend. Pirates plundering your palace? Buccaneers bashing your balustrades? Swashbucklers slicing your stomachs? Then you need Morgan LaFlay, Pirate Hunter par excellence. Great, a pirate hunter. I need that like I need a fourth nipple. I sure can. Let me do that right now. Try that. Alphabet sale. Free vowels while supplies last. It's locked. Well, blow me down glassworks. Oh, we can double click to run. Nice. What a crummy sconce. Uh, I'd better pick this up before someone notices, um, trips over it. Ricky Abba, the 27 months. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. The doctor is busy. 